let's set up our start conditions. We change the transport service speed to zero, the slider position to zero, and add an initial speed for the marble by clicking under the further options of the rigid body and adapting the value. When we start the simulation, the result is that we only have passive movements. Now we add in operations out of the automation section. We choose the parameter, which is the transport surface speed in our case, and then a value for it. Afterwards, we do the same thing for our slider position. At position 60, our slider is closed. We see that our operations make the transport surface move and the slider close. As next step, we want to stop the transport surface when the light barrier is triggered by the box. For this, we select the transport surface, select the parameter speed and set it to zero, and then set the duration to one. This is important as a delay for the next step. As a condition for the operation, we select our light barrier sensor, then we save the operation with a different name. At the triggering of the light barrier, we also want to let the slider open. So we set another conditional operation for its movement to position zero. The condition, again, is our light barrier sensor. When we start the simulation, we don't see the desired operations. The reason is that the condition was set to false. So, we switch over to the Sequence Editor tab and set the condition values for both conditional operations to true. The result is that the transport surface stops and the slider opens so the marble can fall into the box. Our next operations shall be the repeated movement of the transport surface and the slider when the marble has fallen into the box. This is accomplished by copying the first operations and pasting them in the sequence editor below the previous movements. Then we open the time bars of our operations and adapt the start and stop time. The easiest way to do this is by selecting and holding the previous operation and dragging it down to the desired column. We see that our operations are acted out as intended. The slider closes again and the transport service continues to convey the box. Next, we add in a waiting sequence to be triggered by the arrival of the box at the end of the conveyor belt. During this operation, no new operations will take place. For this, we need no connection to a parameter, only a duration and a condition. We can edit the condition also later by selecting the sequence icon. Here we also have to adapt the starting time. We want it to begin after the transport surface was already turned off. Now we add actions to our elevator and to axis component. First off, the elevator. We set the position to be 400. To set a condition is not necessary because the waiting time already checks the arrival of the box and we adapt the starting time to be after the waiting time. Next off, we bring the two axis component in the right position. We have to adapt the x axis to be in the position 100. Then we adapt the y axis to be close to the elevator at position 250. We also need a sequence to turn on our electromagnet. This doesn't work with our rigid body, but with our collision body, so we have to select that. The sticky attribute needs to be set true. Afterwards, we let our magnet slowly move to our box to the position 280. To adapt the speed, we have to activate the checkbox first. We set the speed to 50. Further on, we return slowly back to position 40, where our first container is, in our Y direction. And then we slowly move to position minus 100 
in x direction to have the box directly over the first container. Before we let the box fall we add a little waiting time and lastly we turn the magnet off by adapting the sticky attribute to be turned off. Don't forget to select the collision body for that. In the end we again adapt our order of time slots by connecting the ends to each following sequence We can also adapt the duration of our waiting time to be a little longer. Lastly, we add a simulation end through a pause operation. After all is done, we simulate and view or operations.